First, chapstick. Second, seatbelt. Oh. It's okay. It's just a little spill. It's okay when things spill in the car, but when things spill in the house, I'm like, WHY DID YOU SPILL YOUR DRINK? Caca. It's not caca. It's okay. Look. Oh, that tastes good. You're teaching him terrible things. No, I teach him awesome things. Yellow flag bag! Oh, well done. Killed ya! Well done. I mean... Go ahead. I'm, yeah, let's not hit Derek. I'm sorry. That's, I, that's not, I that's meant, not good. I don't mean like murder. Do it. Oh, okay. Do it. Do it. There's just chaos. Oh, Cassie bomb. I saved the angry bird. You better be a happy bird now. Oh my god. Yay. No, I'm just... Angry bird. Maybe he's maybe. Oh, I hate the automatic dinging in this car. It's and so it gets annoying. out of breath sometimes. Yeah, it's so annoying. It's kind of realistic. Oh, did you hear my tires go? All the kids in class right now are like, "Oh my gosh!" What? You guys are so cool. Bing bing. The one from my car seat when I was a kid went goo 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 goo. Searching. I was. It's basically no, this website you can go to and type something well, and it'll I, pull up I didn't think you results. realized you were saying Google. Maybe angry birds are so angry because everyone be shooting them all around. Birds just want to sit in a tree and be just calm. Well, they shouldn't stand on the launching pad next to the launcher. They're being forced. They're not being forced. They're enslaved angry birds. We force them to beat the pigs when really they just want to have a picnic in a Tree. Tell them to get off the landing pad. That's it. I don't think they the speak launching human. Pad. I speak bird. They go, my <laughs> air! The angry birds. They don't sound like tweet, tweet, tweet. They sound like, my <laughs> That is the exact sound. Oh, they actually sound like this. I'm not done. No, that's what it sounds like. Let me tell you a story. Hey, babe, will you tell me a story? Yes, thank you for asking. When I was on my jog this morning, uh -huh. and I almost got bit by a dog, and I came home, and I ran away from the dog, and I opened the door, and I said, I almost got bit by a dog, and you said, where? And then you grabbed your shoes and your keys and ran out the door. I really legitimately thought Either I was going to get a call from the police station saying we picked up this irate, wandering, crazy man. Or you were going to arrive with either um, a huge black dog hat or a huge black dog cape to show me that you conquered the beast that tried to kill me. You said you were almost bit by a dog. And so I figured that you were exaggerating at how big it was. It was the biggest dog! You said it was big? Yeah. You didn't say it was big, strong, and mean. Well, like, it was like, roof, roof, roof! And like, that's exactly what it looked like. And then it was like, biting my sleeve, like... It was crazy. And it had the underbite. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was crazy. And, um, and I say, nice puppy, nice puppy! It's encouraged me to do a couple of things. Go for it. One, be stronger than a big dog. Two, wear chainmail while I run. You should wear chainmail. Three, get brass knucks. They say oh. knucks because it's cooler than if you say oh, knuckles. I know. Oh, I know. So all you about just say cool. brass knucks. Oh, I know. Like knucks. Right. Okay. Knucks. I got it.